April is National Pet First Aid Awareness Month and a great time for all pet owners to learn how best to handle pet accidents and emergencies. Veterinarian Dr. Melissa Webster of Tampa Veterinary Hospital is here to share tips on what to do if your pet becomes injured. Now, I got to tell you something, mm -hmm. Dr. Webster. A few years back, two of my dogs, one's like 28 pounds, the mm -hmm. other 16 pounds, they were both attacked oh, by wow. three humongous mm. bull mastiffs who were not uh, nice mm -hmm. dogs. Right. And my one dog ran under a car. My mm -hmm. other one is submissive. He rolled over and a huge gash in the stomach. I did not have mm -hmm. anything prepared. Mm -hmm. What should I have had in my house? Well, what I put together a common first aid kit with most of the things that we have in our home. Uh, I grab a big beach towel. Um, a pillowcase because we could use it to wrap. Mm. So your dog, if I had been at the house, I would have grabbed a big towel, maybe some duct tape around the towel to hold it on, and yeah. zoom, bring him to the vet. But common things, you may not be close to a veterinarian. Most of us here are pretty close to veterinarians, so you can obviously have a kit together that would help with gauze, a thermometer, some scissors, tweezers if they got a piece of wood in themselves, a little eye wash, triple antibiotic, mm -hmm. peroxide works well. Yeah, because we, you know, we think of our children, of course, we have to have mm -hmm. a first aid kit in the car, in the house, mm -hmm. but we don't think of our, of our, of our pets. Yeah. Now, I panicked, what, <laughs> which was wrong. What is well, the first thing we should do when, when our pet is injured or in an accident? Mm -hmm. I think the biggest thing is take a deep breath mm -hmm. and count to three and go, okay, I need to help myself here and help my pet. Um, remember where your veterinarian is. If you don't remember, grab your smartphone and quick hit Google and find an emergency clinic. Mm -hmm. um, I think that that's one of the best things to do. You can, if they have a big wound, like your poor dog, mm. direct pressure on it. Right. But sometimes you may not have somebody else to help you. And I didn't. Don't get hurt. It get was a leash. Tough. Yeah. If you don't have a muzzle, your lovely tie right now could be a muzzle because sometimes when you pick them up, they hurt and they may bite you, even though they love you all the rest of the time. Right. You know, they're scared. Now, we don't necessarily think of, of dogs or cats having seizures, but they do. Oh, and, yes. And, and what are the symptoms of a seizure, number one? Seizures are any kind of abnormal neurologic status. Mm -hmm. Something uh, that we all can see is a big seizure. They lay on their side, they paddle, may vocalize, hypersalivate, urinate, and defecate. That's a grand mal seizure. That's pretty obvious because they're on the floor flapping like a fl fish, right. in, in other words. That feels horrific and mm -hmm. feels like a, this, a huge long span of time. But a grand mal seizure isn't the most typical. They can have a petite mal seizure, which just might be freeze. Mm. Um, look at f fly biting is a seizure. Hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, once my uh, my dog Oscar, he's like 17 pounds, mm -hmm. he was just walking along and then all of a sudden he just bloop mm -hmm. and I took him to an yeah. emergency clinic. I mean, it's funny now, but it wasn't funny oh, then because yes. I'm like, what it's the terror. heck is going on? Mm -hmm. And they said it was probably like a mini seizure mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I said, well, what can I do? Right. And just you kind of hold your pet for a moment, make sure if they're big, leave them on the ground. Make sure they don't fall in a pool. We have so many pools mm, here. That's right. Or fall down the stairs. Keep them safe. And something a lot of people don't know is sometimes if you have more than, more dogs in particular, sometimes they may attack the pet that's seizuring. Oh, wow. So that's scary. That's super scary. And really quick, mm -hmm. uh, if your pet becomes overheated. Oh, overheated, big time. Don't leave your pet in the car. Period. Um, I ever. don't care ever. Just yeah. avoid it, please. And okay. overheated, put some just water on your pet and bring them to the vet because okay. they can start melting from the inside. Sure. Not oh good. gosh, we don't want that. All right, lots of great advice. We're going to put all of this, by the way, on our great. website, daytimeonline.tv. Always a pleasure, Dr. Oh, Melissa Webster. Thank you for having me. All right, we'll be right back with more daytime right after this.